Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can open Jupyter Notebook in Visual Studio Code and how we can run and edit it. First click on open file here or if you don't see this welcome screen just go to file and click on open file and then browse to wherever you have your Jupyter Notebook. So I just have it here. Just click on it and click on open and your Jupyter Notebook will open. So as you can see I have some markdown here. I have some code. So this is your Jupyter Notebook. But in order to run it, you have to set up a kernel. So here in top right, you'll see select kernel. Click on this and it will ask you to choose Python environment. Okay, so you can either choose a Python environment or you can choose existing Jupyter server. Click on Python environments and here you'll see a bunch of options like this Python version and this Python version. So you need to have Python installed. I have multiple Python versions installed. So in case, in your case, they can be just one Python version. So click on it. Okay, so we have chosen a Python version and now you can just click on the execute cell that is this play button or you can enter the shortcut control alt and enter and this cell will be executed which can be verified by this check mark here so as you can see there's success here and it, this cell was executed in 0 0.1 seconds and now let's put an error and let's see what happens in case there is an error so I'll just write something here right let's say A and let's run this again and this time, as you can see, we have an error. So by choosing the Python version here, you can run the code cells, all right? Now, let's see what we can do about our markdown cells, okay? And now this is markdown. So as you can see, for titles, you just add a hash in front. And then for normal text, you just write it like this. And if your title is a subtitle, you can add two hashes. So you just do this. And as you can see, this is bigger and this is smaller. So these are the subtitles and the titles. In order to create a new cell, what you can do is just click on, uh, on this markdown cell and a new cell will be created below the current cell that was selected. So here, let's say I write this is the title and press this. As you can see, we have a new cell with a title. Now, again, I'll click on markdown and a new cell will be created below it. And here, let's add two hashes and I'll say, I'll say this is the subtitle and again here just click on this stop editing or escape and this will be run so as you can see we have a title we have a subtitle now we can go on you can just select this cell and to create a new cell below here just click on markdown or there is a shortcut and the shortcut is alt and enter and as you can see this cell is created down below empty markdown cell is created you can just double click on it and write three hashes this time and this time, let's say this is uh, an item, okay? And yeah, so this is how you can create markdown cells. If you want to create a code cell, so below your current selected cell, just click on code. Okay, now we have a code cell here. You can write Python code. Let's say A equals to 10, B equals to 20. And we want to print A plus B. And you can just run this. Let me stop this and okay it was just printing uh running one line when you run this it runs it line by line right so don't do that that is useful for debugging just click on this run button and as you can see the whole thing is executed and 30 is printed okay now again similar to our a shortcut above with the markdown cell you can just press shift and enter and it goes to the new cell and you can press alt and enter and a new cell is created Okay, so if you press shift and enter, it goes to the cell below it without creating a new cell. If you press alt and enter, a new cell is created. So this is how you can create, sorry, this is how you can open Jupyter Notebooks in Visual Studio Code and how you can edit Jupyter Notebooks in Visual Studio Code. If you have further questions, let me know in the comments below.